Good morning, Cambridge. Today is April 2nd, 2020. Today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. So um, we are going to pick up from yesterday's lesson. You are going to need the same materials that you had yesterday, your textbook, your workbook, a pencil, your journal, or a sheet of paper to write on. If you don't have these materials, click pause on the video and then come back and click play so you can go get those materials. Okay, let's go ahead and start. So everybody, I need you to open your textbook to lesson 58. What lesson? Get ready. Yes, lesson 58. Now that you're on lesson 58, I want you to go ahead and go back to you're going to put your hand here so you won't lose your spot. We're going to review a new vocabulary sentence, okay? So we know that our vocabulary sentences are at the back of this textbook. So let's put our hand here so we won't lose our spot. And flip back to the back of the book to page 397. What page? Get ready. Yes, 397. So I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to get there. Okay, now everybody touch sentence 15. What sentence? Get ready. Yes, sentence 15. So everyone's touching sentence 15. This is a new vocabulary sentence. It says, they constructed an enormous machine. Everybody, read that sentence. Get ready. Yes, they constructed an enormous machine. Close your eyes and say the sentence. Everybody, get ready. Yes, they constructed an enormous machine. Now, they constructed an enormous machine. When you construct something, you build it. Everybody, what word means build? Get ready. Yes, construct. They constructed an enormous machine. A machine is something that is made to help people do work. A long steel bar can be a machine if it's used the right way. A lawnmower and a car and hedge clippers are also machines. Everybody, what do we call something that is made to help people do work? Get ready. Yes, machine. Listen to the sentence. They constructed an enormous machine. Say the sentence. Get ready. Yes. What word means built? Get ready. Yes, constructed. What word means something that helps people do work? Get ready. Yes, machine. And what word means something that helps people do work again? Get ready. Yes, machine. Now, Enormous means something that is very, very large. What does enormous mean? Get ready. Yes, yeah, something that's very, very large. Awesome. Now everyone, we're going to flip back to lesson 58. I want everyone pointing to the first column. Finger on column one. Word one is support. What word? Yes, support. Spell support. Get ready. Word two is force. What word? Yes, force. Spell force. Get ready. A force 
is a push. The harder the push, the greater the force. Word three is steady. What word? Yes, steady. Spell steady. Get ready. Word four is contest. What word? Yes, contest. Spell contest. Get ready. Now let's read these words the fast way. Word one. What word? Yes, support. Word two. What word? Yes, force. Word three. What word? Yes, steady. Word four. What word? Yes, contest. Good job. I'm pretty sure you're doing amazing. Let's go to column two. All these words have more than one syllable. The first syllable of each word is underlined. Word one. What's the first syllable? Get ready. Yes, junk. What's the whole word? Get ready. Yes, jungle. Word two. What's the first syllable? Get ready. Yes, rock. What's the whole word? Get ready. Yes, rocky. Word three. What's the first syllable? Get ready. Yes, sill. What's the whole word? Get ready. Yes, silver. Word four. What's the first syllable? Get ready. Yes, Paul. What's the whole word? Get ready. Yes, power. Word five. What's the first syllable? Get ready. Yes, strong. What's the whole word? Get ready. Yes, stronger. Word six. What's the first syllable? Get ready. Yes, start. And what's the whole word? Get ready. Yes, startle. Now let's read those words again the fast way. Word one. What word? Yes, jungle. Word two. What word? Yes, rocky. Word three. What word? Yes, silver. Word four. What word? Yes, power. Word five. What word? Yes, stronger. Word six. What word? Yes, startle. Awesome. Let's go to column three. Column three. Word one. What word? Yes, ledge. A ledge is a narrow shelf that is on cliffs or mountains. Everybody, what do we call a narrow shelf on a cliff? Get ready. Yes, ledge. Word two. What word? Yes, attached. Word three. What word? Yes, though. Word four. What word? Yes, hall. Word five. What word? Yes, knives. Word six. What word? Yes, twice. Let's read those words again. Word one. What word? Yes, ledge. Word two. What word? Yes, attached. Word three. What word? Yes, though. Word four. What word? Yes, hall. Word five. What word? Yes, knives. Word six. What word? Yes, twice. Good job. I'm pretty sure you're doing amazing. Let's go to column four. On column four, word one. What word? Yes, raw. Food 
food that is not cooked is raw. Word two. What word? Yes, machine. That is one of the words that we learned about today, right? Let's move on. Word three is vines. What word? Yes, vines. Word four. What word? Yes, motor. Word five. What word? Yes, automobile. Word six. What word? Yes, constructed. Another word that we learned today. All right. Good job. Let's give ourselves some snaps for completing part A. Now it's time to do part B. For part B, part B is the informational passage that you are going to be learning about today. First, you are going to read by yourself. Then I am going to read it to you. <clears throat> So, it's a very short um, informational passage. It starts on page 65 and it ends on page 67. <clears throat> so, you're going to click pause so you can read it by yourself. When you're done reading it by yourself, I'm going to read it to you and I'm going to ask you questions. So, click pause and come back when you are done reading it by yourself. Okay, it's time for me to read it to you. So everyone, it's very important we're tracking just like we do in the classroom that we're sitting tall because that's going to help us concentrate better, okay? Our attention is going to be on the story. Finger on the title. On my signal, you are going to read the title with me, okay? Get ready. Facts about machines. Now, Let's go ahead and start. I'm reading, you're tracking. What am I doing? Get ready. Yes, reading. What are you doing? Get ready. Yes, tracking. All right, now. Some machines have engines or motors. A washing machine has a motor. An automobile is a machine that has an engine. Drills and blenders and lawn mowers are machines. Some machines are very simple. Here's the rule about all machines. All machines make it easier for you to do work. Stop right there. Everybody, listen to that sentence again. All machines make it easier for you to do work. Say the rule. Get ready. Yes, the rule is all machines make it easier for you to do work. Name some machines. What machines can you possibly think of? Get ready. If you mentioned washing machine, a drill, a blender, lawn mowers, or any other things that helps you do work easier, that makes it easier for you to do work, you are correct. Okay, now we can turn the page. Finger at the top of page 66. Remember, you're tracking. The machine in these pictures is a long branch. The girl is using the branch to make it easier for her to move the large rock. That rock is far too heavy for her to move without the help of a machine. Stop right there. The first picture shows the person starting to push down on an end of the handle. The second picture shows the person after she pushed down all the way on the handle. You can see that the rock moved. That girl would not be able to move that rock without using the branch as a simple machine. Let's continue on page 67. Here's another kind of machine. The two people are having a contest. Each person is pushing and trying to turn the log. 
the arrows show that person A is trying to move the log in one direction. Person B is trying to move it in the opposite direction. Which person is bigger and stronger? Everybody, which person is bigger and stronger? Get ready. Yes, A. The arrow by person A shows which way he is trying to turn the log. Right here where I'm pointing. Touch the arrow for person A. Get ready. Person B is trying to turn the log in the opposite direction. Touch the arrow for person B. Get ready. Awesome. Let's keep reading. You're tracking. I'm reading. Even though person B is much smaller than person A, person B will win this contest. Person A is pushing on the log. Person B is pushing on a handle that is attached to the log. That handle is a simple machine. It gives person B a lot more power than person A. Remember, a long stick or a handle can be used as a simple machine. It gives a person a lot of power. Now everybody touch person A, get ready. Is that person pushing against the log or against a handle? Get ready. Yes, against the log. Touch person B, get ready. Is that person pushing against the log or against the handle? Get ready. Yes, against the handle. Which person will be able to push the hardest? A or B? Get ready. Yes, B. That's because the handle is a simple machine. It works the same way the branch does in the first example. It gives person B more power. Okay, so this is working just like it's working over here. Okay, now everyone find part C. What part? Get ready. Yes, turn the page. First, you're going to read this story. Then I read it to you and ask you questions, okay? It's very important that you practice reading it by yourself and then I read it to you and I ask you questions so you can comprehend the story a little bit better. Now, click pause, read it by yourself, then come back and click play. Okay, everybody finger up in the air. You should be finished reading the story down to the title. Remember, you're sitting tall, your eyes are tracking, your fingers tracking. Awesome, making tools. <clears throat> the only things Linda and Kathy ate for two days were coconut meat and bananas. Stop right there. How do you think they felt about that? Get ready. If you think they felt sick of it or tired of it, I agree with you. Let's continue. On the third day, Kathy said, I want to eat something else. Me too, Linda said. I think that we should catch some fish. Stop right there. Name some tools. They might need to catch fish. Think big. Get ready. If you named hooks, nets, fishing poles, a fishing line, you are correct. Let's go ahead and continue. Kathy said, I'm not hungry enough to eat raw fish. Well, Linda said, maybe we can figure out some way to cook the fish. Kathy said, how can we catch fish without any fishing poles or hooks? Linda said, we can take the wooden crate apart 
and use the nails for hooks. We can take the vines from the jungle and use them for lines. Stop right there. Everybody, what were they going to use for hooks? Get ready. Yes, nails. What were they going to use for fishing line? Get ready. Yes, vines. You can see vines in the picture. They look like ropes. These that I am pointing to. They grow in the jungle. Touch a vine in the picture. Get ready. Now let's go back to tracking. So the girls took the wooden crate apart. They pulled the nails out and bent them by hitting them with rocks. We're at the top of the next page, boys and girls. Continue tracking. Then the girls found thin vines. They tied the vines to the nails. Linda said, now we need to put worms or bugs on our hooks. They caught some big bugs and stuck them on the bent nails. Linda and her sister walked to a rocky place on the beach. They put their lines in the water and waited. They waited and waited. They could see many fish in the water. Big fish, little fish. Some fish were green with red marks around their heads. Some fish were long and silver. The knives cutting through the water. Once in a while, a dark form of a large fish would move through the light green water. Stop right there. I'll read that part again, okay? So you can keep your finger there and I want you to listen carefully. They, they could see many fish in the water, big fish, little fish. Some fish were green with red marks around their heads. Some fish were long and silver, like knives cutting through the water. Once in a while, a dark form of a large fish would move through the light green water. Boys and girls, what kind of fish do you think those dark forms were? Get ready. Hmm. Let's find out. And before we move on, what color is the water? Get ready. Yes, light green. Okay, now let's move on. The girls could see the fish, but the fish did not go after the bugs on the hooks. The girls fished for almost two hours. Finally, Kathy caught a fish, but it was only about three inches long. Stop right there. Everybody, show me how long that fish was. Get ready. Yeah, three inches long. Now, how long had the girls fished for? Get ready. Yes for about two hours. And how many fish had they caught? Get ready. Yes, none. They only got one fish. How many fish, get ready? Yes, one. Let's continue. Kathy said, we will never catch enough fish to have a fish dinner. Linda said, we have to think of another way to catch fish. The girls sat there on the sunny rocks and thought and thought. Finally, Linda said, I've got an idea. We will use a net. We will put the net in the water. When fish swim into the net, we will pull the net out of the water. Stop right there. What could the girls use to make a fishing net? Get ready. If you said vines, branches, anything that they could possibly find in the jungle, let's find out. It could be many things, right? Let's find out. 
Let's continue. The girls went back into the jungle and got lots of vines. Then they tied the vines together. Soon they had a net. It was very heavy. Kathy and Linda could hardly haul it along the beach. Turn the page. We're at the top of page 70. They finally hauled the net to a ledge of rocks over the water. Stop right there. Everybody, look at the picture over here at the bottom. Touch the ledge of rocks over the water. Get ready. Yes. Now touch the net. Get ready. Awesome. Let's move on. The girls dropped the net into the water and waited for the fish to swim into it. Soon, there were many fish inside the net. Some of them looked nearly as big as Kathy. Stop right there. Everybody, is the net heavy or light? Get ready. Yes, heavy. Do you think the girls will be able to pull the net out of the water with those fish in it? Get ready. Yes, probably not. How big were some of the fish inside the net? Get ready. Yes, nearly as big as Kathy. Keep tracking. Let's pull the net up, Linda said. Pull fast. The girls tried to pull the net out of the water, but the fish were pulling the net in the opposite direction. The fish pulled the net farther into the water. We're slipping, Kathy cried. Splash! Both of the girls fell into the water. As the girls climbed back onto the rocks, Linda said, we'll have to think of a better way to pull the net out of the water. More next time. Go, I want you to go to, pay, to page 71 and point to part D. It says, number your paper from 1 through 27. You are going to do questions 1 through 27, which top, stops on page 73. When you are done, you are going to complete your workbook for today's lesson 58. 1, 2, 3 on page 15, and then 4 through 11 on page 16, okay? If you have any questions, you can go ahead and send me a message through Teams, and I can help you. Now, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye, boys and girls.